guys, welcome to the fantastic, fabulous and fantabulous session by Vedantu Night and Ten English. My name is Pratesh, I'm your host, your dose and a proud master teacher from Vedantu. Welcoming you to the very, very interesting topic that is how to actually memorize the long answers. Now, biology is a subject where you literally have to memorize. So, you have its entire memory based subject. And many times it gets difficult to memorize these uh, answers, to memorize the different names, the scientific names, the different you know names of organisms and the processes involved. And that is what we are going to deal in today's session, that how to memorize the long answers. So it's not very difficult. Let's explore with me, that is Pratesh. Hello Devi, welcome to the session. Right? Chal. First of all, I had given you a daily schedule. Right? Hello Divi, hello Pooja. I had given you a daily schedule where you were supposed to wake up at 5, do some math in the morning, then go to school, come back from school, refresh, have your lunch, take an afternoon nap because this was super important. Then I asked you that after that you can do some history geography or you can put history geography for the night and here you can do your science and then you go for playing, come back, again study where you are doing your SST or Hindi or whatever and then go back to sleep. So, this timetable which I had given you, this was very thoughtful. It was given after a lot of, uh, you know, thought and where we could give you time to play because that is super important. Where we could give you time to rest because again that was very important. And where we, where we gave you a lot of time to do self-study. So, if you look at this timetable, you are getting good amount of time to do self-study, to go to school, to play, to rest in the afternoon, to have your meals on time, to freshen up and everything. So make sure that you follow this or if not this, a good timetable for your own self. That is very, very important that you follow a disciplined timetable for yourself. Right? That is the first step towards getting success in the exam. Hello, silent success. Then, written notes within 24 hours of teaching or rewrite the notes within, within 25 to 24 hours of teaching. Now, those of you know me, from the uh, you know beginning, they know that I have been taking videos on Vedantu Young Wonders, right? I have been taking videos on Vedantu Young Wonders. On Vedantu Young Wonders, I have taught how to make notes. I have taught how to make notes many times. In fact, there is a session that I have taken where I have made notes of the chapter called Sound. If you remember, in your grade 8, there is a chapter called Sound. So I have made the notes of the chapter in a live class on the chapter sound and these notes, trust me guys, I am telling you this from my own experience that these notes are the only thing that you are going to remember while you are writing your exam. So your own handwritten notes are the only thing that you are going to remember while you are taking your exam. Right? Hello Gokul from uh, Tamil Nadu. Right? Vanakkam, Namaskaram. Right? Uh, okay, sir, can you share with us how to score good marks in term 2 by 100 on 100? I got 98 on 100. Wow, amazing. That's really very good, Pooja. So, if you have got 98 on 100, you will definitely get 100 on 100 also. So, just what you have to do is you have to scrutinize your term 1 paper that where you went wrong and you have to avoid those mistakes, right? I will be taking sessions on that also that how can you score very good marks. So first of all is rewrite to uh, rewrite the notes and second is study to understand. Now see, this is a very very simple concept. Many of you are over here who do not like biology, who do not like biology and who are like we just have to study this bio for one more year and from 11th standard we are not even going to look at biology ever in our life. We are only going to take maths or we will be taking arts or we will be taking commerce but we won't be doing biology anymore. I accept, I completely agree. I had the similar feeling for mathematics when I was in school. Like, Ebar, you know, once this 10th standard is over, I will never ever look at mathematics again in my life. But, at least till you finish 10th, you have to do bio. At least till you complete your 10th standard, you have to study bio. You do not have any choice. You have to learn that subject. You have to do those 4 or 5 chapters of biology for your 10th standard. There is no other choice. Now, there are two options in front of you. Result is that you have to do bio. There are two ways how you approach this result. One way is you cry, you crib, you curse the subject, you curse yourself 
you every day buying over and over why i want to do bio such difficult words such difficult concept such big big names such complicated names so many things to remember or the second way is like fine i have to do this subject this is the reality let me do it with interest at least the result will be good the result is that you have to do buy you either take this route where you have where you are going to cry and whine and make your journey more difficult or you take this route where the journey will become easier towards the destination the destination that you have to do by right so study to understand don't study just to finish your board exams don't study just because you have to study study to understand the journey will become easier the journey will become easier right so that is how you should do it yes pooja you should not do it. you should never learn in the dark integrate the concepts for a better understanding see guys there are two ways to study you study like a donkey or you study smartly right you study like a donkey or you study like a horse horse goes very fast but he reaches his destination <coughs> donkey goes very slow with so much of load on his body and yet you know people make fun of the donkey so what you do is study smartly don't rote learn don't become a parrot don't rote learn but rather you study smartly i'll be giving you certain tips today in the class on how can you do smart study right so let's see what are the things that we can do to study smart test yourself to gauge your learning now i'll be giving you certain points which will help you to study smartly theek hai it is bio so we'll be taking green color right theek hai number 1 is make notes this is the most important point second is make a book with important terms three make a book with diagrams number 4 use mnemonics these are the four tips and your biology is sorted these are the four tips and your biology is sorted right thank you so much vaishnavi god bless you dear right Hello Alia Ehsan right hello they give no worries heredity is not a difficult chapter at all it is super easy hi sazia so heredity is super easy now i'll give you a glimpse on how to do diagrams so this is a tip which will give you full marks in your diagrams number 1 always draw the diagram in the center right label equally on both the sides right x y z x y z x y z whatever then you make a box around the diagram and make a line over here and write your title this is a pro tip for the diagrams this is a pro tip for the diagrams right how many of you like the tip how many of you like a tip tell me a you in the chat come on quickly how many of you like this tip i just draw it a little above because i think because of the scroller you are not able to see it so i just draw a little bit over here right you draw it in the center label should be one below the other exactly you are not supposed to label it like this no this is wrong you are supposed to label it one below the other exactly so your diagram looks very beautiful your diagram looks very beautiful and you get full marks for the diagram right so make notes make your own notes because these are the only thing that you are going to remember when while you are writing your exams then make a book with the important terms all the important terms write in one book like robert hook osmosis anthony van leeuwenhoek animal cues right Then tonicity, then circulation, arteries, veins, 
capillaries, right? Blood pressure, then diastolic pressure, systolic pressure, dialysis, nephrons, neurons, so then cyton, exon, dendrite, right? All the terms in one book. And in short, their definition. Like Robert who discovered cell bracket 1665, right? Nephron, functional unit of kidney. Neuron, functional unit of nervous system. So in very short, so just the terms, and if you can make your own biology dictionary, then though that's the cherry on the cake. That's the sweetest cherry on the cake if you can make your own biology dictionary, right? Then, make a book with only the diagrams. This book should have only your diagrams. So you can just glance through before the exam. And the last is, use mnemonic. For example, if I'm talking about traditional methods of irrigation, do you remember what are the traditional methods of irrigation? It is Mont, Dhekli, Rahat, Chain Pump. So, Mr. Donald can run. Mont, Dhekli, Chain Pump, Rahat. Mr. Donald can run. Mr. Donald can run. And these are the four methods of traditional irrigation. So, this is how you remember. You have to make funny mnemonics which you can easily remember. If I am talking about the first 20 uh, elements of the periodic table. Hi, hey, little bee baby could not offer me free neon. Na mango alla se Pepsi soda cola agar khana cash These are the 20 elements of the periodic table. So the mnemonics are definitely going to help you to remember the pointers for the answers. Right? Hanji Zai. Chal. With that we move ahead. With that we move ahead. And here is some information that if you want to learn with me and all the amazing teachers of Vedantu, live classes, live doubt solving, interactive classes, live discussion, post class doubt solving, online classes by master teachers. If you want all of that for just rupees 4500, then you, you then you need to use the coupon code P R E P R O. P R E P R O. So you just put the coupon code P R E P R O and the cost of rupees 5000 becomes 4500 and this cost is for one year this cost is for one year 4500 if you use pr pre pr pre pr yes puja k it is pre pr that is my code pre pr is the code that you can use okay then for pro j or neat it is 15000 rupees for two years 15,000 rupees for two years, that is 7,500 per year for JE and NEET preparation. 15,000 rupees and that also, if you use the coupon code, it is just 13,500. It is just 13,500. So you just need to use PRE, PRO and 15,000 becomes 13,500 and this cost is for two years. This cost is for, for two years for JE or NEET, whatever you are interested for. Thank you, Pooja. Thank you for putting it in the chat. Right? So, that is it. So, remember, P-R-E-P-R-O is the code. P-R-E-P-R-O is the code. And guys, you can follow me on Instagram at Pitesh underscore Vedantu. Do not forget to give this video a big fat thumbs up. Subscribe to Vedantu 9th in English because it's absolutely free of course. And share this video. Share this video with every person who is scared of biology. Make sure that every friend of yours, every cousin of yours, every sibling of yours subscribes to Vedanta 9th and English. So guys, see, I, Amin sir, Sana ma'am, Shilpi ma'am, Bhavna ma'am, uh, you know, Anup sir, we all are taking so much of effort to make your result what you want. Right? And what is it that we are asking in return? Just your love and support. So remember, Hashtag each one get one. I want all of you to get only one more subscriber to the channel. And it is free. It is absolutely free. For that you don't even have to pay 4,500 rupees, right? So hashtag each one get one. Just every one of you get one subscriber to the channel and we'll be more than grateful to you, right? So with that guys, thank you so much for being such a wonderful audience. I hope you guys enjoy these tips and tricks. Make sure that you don't only enjoy but you also follow them. I'll be seeing you again really very soon. Next time I'll be coming for my grade 10 studios where we'll be discussing a paper together. Right? So thank you so much guys. God bless you Priya. God bless you always. God bless every one of you. Rise and shine in life. Be a good human being. And remember, make the world a better place to live.
right thank you so much guys take care lots of love bye bye